Hello. In this video, we are going to talk about uh, using MOSFET transistors to uh, build amplifiers, small signal amplifier circuits. Um, so MOSFETs as amplifiers. And we have already said that uh, when we are designing amplifiers, we're going to use the MOSFET in the saturation region, where the MOSFET uh, essentially behaves as a transconductance amplifier, uh, where it uh, outputs a constant current or an almost constant current, uh, which depends on uh, the input signal VGS. So an input voltage controls an output current. To see how we're going to use that, um, for amplification, I'm going to redraw my IV characteristic of the drain current versus VDS voltage. And this is, in essence, my family of curves once I have turned on my transistor. VGS1, VGS2, VGS3, etc. Where this is the direction of increasing VGS. And I have my saturation region um, after the point where VDS is equal to uh, the overdrive voltage. So basically, this curve uh, defines the line where VDS is exactly equal to VGS minus VT, the overdrive voltage. Uh, now, what's going to happen is uh, the first thing I need to do for my transistor is I want to bias it into the right region of operation. Um, and in order to do that, I'm going to connect some circuitry around my transistor, known as the biasing circuitry, to establish a certain bias point. And that's, that's going to be the DC bias point. It's going to determine all the DC voltages around my transistor and DC currents. Uh, I, I will want that bias point or Q point or quiescent point um, to be fairly well centered around my saturation region, uh, far enough, sufficiently far from uh, the edge of the triode region, because as I move my input signal around the DC bias point, I don't want my transistor to be coming in and out of saturation. I want it to be... Um, uh, right in the middle of saturation region. And then, once I have set my quiescent point, my DC operating point, uh, we call it, by connecting external circuitry to my transistor, now I'm in a position where I can start performing signal amplification. And it's going to be small signal amplification, because what we're going to do is apply small changes in, uh, in the signal over that DC offset that we have set with our bias point, right, the small variations. And so if I um, apply a small AC signal to my gate of my transistor, in essence, what I'm doing is I'm moving VGS, right? I'm varying VGS around that Q point. And what that's going to result on is a variation of ID around that Q point as well. So as my VGS goes up and down, my ID is going to go up and down. Because again, because of the transconductance, a change in the input voltage will give me a change in the input current. Uh, because of the um, square relationship between the current and the input voltage, in the case of the saturation region, I will have that as my VGS uh, goes up and down, my IDS will go up and down uh, with a quadratic relationship to VGS. Also, obviously, my VDS is going to move because as my um, IDS changes, then my, uh, my VDS is going to change. So my Q point is going to go moving. I guess I don't have enough lines here, but um, I'm going to make it move all the way out there because that's going to imply this in the triode region. But let's imagine something like this. Basically, my signal is going to move around that Q point, and it's going to give... A change in VDS as well. Um, now, the location of that Q point, I refer to that as capital ID, 
and capital VDS. Those are those points are defined in the location of my Q point uh, in this graph. I notice that I am representing them as capital letter quantities with capital subscripts. And that means that they are DC quantities, because when I'm doing biasing, I'm doing uh, the DC biasing. I'm setting the DC values about which I'm going to be applying varying signals. Um, when I am referring to variations, my deltas, those are the small um, AC signals. my delta ID, my delta VDS. Uh, and I'm going to be representing those with lowercase letters, lowercase subscripts. So when I refer to small uh, lowercase i, lowercase d, uh, this is going to represent just a small signal variation of the, of the current about the quiescent point. Same thing with VDS, I will represent it as this. Whereas my DC quantities are going to be capital letter, capital subscript. Uh, the overall quantities um, which we also refer to as the instantaneous value of uh, ID, VDS or any other parameter I'm going to represent with a lowercase uh, letter, uppercase subscript and it's obviously the superposition or the sum of the DC value the DC component plus the AC component. Same thing with PDS would be the quiescent uh, DC component plus the small signal uh, variation or the AC component. Uh, just like I can uh, split my signals into the DC portion and the AC portion of the signal, uh, large DC signal, small AC signal, um, I can divide my analysis accordingly because I'm going to assume that my circuits are linear circuits um, and for a linear system I can apply the superposition principle meaning I will know that uh, the overall response of the system will be the superposition of the individual responses to the individual stimuli and so if I have a DC portion to my stimuli and an AC portion to my stimuli I can um, calculate the response of the system independently to the DC portion and the AC portion and then um, calculate the superposition of the two responses or some of those two responses will give me the overall response of the system. And so from now on um, my analysis and design technique for transistor amplifiers really, um, but in this particular case for MOSFET amplifiers is going to consist into um, the DC portion of the designer analysis and the AC portion. Uh, the DC also is referred to as the large signal, the AC also referred to as the small signal large signal because typically the DC values for those voltages are going to be in the order of volts uh, whereas the small signal typically we will be amplifying um, AC signals with amplitudes in the range of the you know micro or, or milliamps um, so basically I will uh, you know set up or calculate my DC bias point also referred to as Q point quiescent point etc and then I will uh, set or calculate my um, small signal amplifier parameters. Meaning the gain, input resistance, output resistance, etc. Uh, because they are so drastically different um, and the behavior of the transistor is different for large DC signals and for small AC signals, uh, most of the time I will be using different models uh, when I'm performing the DC portion of my analysis and the small signal AC portion of my analysis. And we will be dealing with those models in future videos. Thank you.